question decoder expansion is nothing but for example let us say we are uh, in need of 3 3 cross 8 decoder but we are provided only with 2 2 cross 4 decoders in such a case we should be able to design 3 cross 8 decoder using the existing uh, size of the decoders that is 2 cross 4 decoders so the design goes in this fashion now if you see this is a 3 cross 8 decoder truth table and uh, we'll consider 2 cross 4 decoders separately So in the two cross four decoders, we'll have two inputs, which we'll consider as I one, I naught, and you can see the combinations as zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. So for these, we can say like which output is one at a time. Like so, if you consider I Y naught, Y one, Y two, Y three, you can see that like these are one at a time. So this is so when I consider I two is zero and I one, I naught for different combinations. Y naught, Y one, Y two, Y three will be the outputs. Similarly, if you see uh, when I two is one and I, for different combinations of I one and I naught, Y four, Y five, Y six, Y seven are outputs. So using this logic, if we draw the circuit, so we'll get three cross eight decoder using two cross four decoders. So two cross four decoders, two we are considering. So one decoder output. V is y not to y three, and another decoder outputs are y four to y seven. We are having three inputs for three cross eight decoder. That is i two, i one, i not. We can see that i one and i not are uh, inputs for both the decoders. So let us con connect first i one, i not to both uh, inputs of the both the decoders. Then you can see. I know I two is zero when outputs are y not y one y two y three. So I two will be negated and connected to the enable input of the decoder. So what happens here is I two if it is zero, then we'll get one here and make E as one for this decoder and this decoder is enabled. So we'll get the outputs of y not y one y two y three depending upon I one and I not. Now, if you see here, I two is one for the second decoder, so we'll connect I two uh, directly for the enable input of the second decoder. So, if I two is one here, the outputs of the second decoder, that is Y four, Y five, Y six, Y seven, depends upon I one and I naught. This is how the three cross eight decoder is designed using two cross four decoders. In the similar fashion, we can design. the bigger size of decoders using smaller size of decoders one more advantage of uh, using decoders is we can implement uh, boolean functions using decoders to consider uh, this example and as we have seen before the decoders output is min terms or it could be max terms also all min terms are produced so if you consider the decoder ic as it is all min terms will be produced already so this is the 3 cross 8 decoder so three inputs all when you consider three inputs eight combinations will be there so eight combinations that is eight min terms is given as outputs here so sum the required min terms so whatever the required min terms are given in the function that particular uh, min terms will be ordered Consider the example for ladder. The sum of the full ladder is represented in terms of sigma, which is one, two, four, seven min terms. We are supposed to or. And in the case of carry of a full ladder, it is sigma of three, five, six, seven. So how we implement full ladder using decoders? So if you see one, two, four, seven, one, two, four, seven, we are going to use or gate and represent it as yes. That is sum of full ladder. And then three, five, six, seven, and use OR gate and represent it as C. That is carry of full ladder. Even though we are having two functions, sum and carry for uh, representing the full ladder, using decoders, single decoder will be helping us to represent it. It is not only the case of two functions. Any number of functions can be designed using a single decoder, which is having three inputs actually. So this is the design of the full adder using AND gate decoder. 
so when we are uh, oring the and min terms and gate means outputs of and gate is uh, min terms when we or them we'll get the function n sum of min terms actually the same example we can represent using nand gate decoders also if you see here the or gate is converted in this fashion that is bubbled nand gate actually so if you see the sum of min terms this is converted in this particular form so x bar y bar z whole bar uh, two times when we are complementing it we'll get this expression and this expression can be converted in this form and these bubbles are given as the output of the uh, nand gate decoder this diagram is converted into this fashion actually so what happens like when sigma terms is given or min terms are given then also we can use a nand gate decoder to implement it so when sigma terms or min terms are given then if you are using the and gate decoder min terms should be or using or gate if you are using nand gate decoder then min terms only should be considered and they should be connected with a nand gate actually so what happens here it is nothing but we are using max terms and finally it is complemented to get the actual output so this is nothing but what we say as implementation of the boolean function using decoders Consid let us consider another example if pi terms are given then in such a case if you are using and gate decoder we'll use nor gate if you are using nand gate decoder we'll use and gate so the expressions will be represented in this form if you see here 1 3 5 we are using 1 3 and 5 similarly here also 1 3 5 these given terms itself will be connected to the nor gate and and gate respectively thank you